Hello there. Today we are going to study about mechanism of CRISPR-Cas9 system. In the first step the single guide RNA having the complementary sequence against the target DNA binds to the target sequence. There are two endonucleuses for this purpose. When any invader sequence come to the internal environment the 20 nucleotide guide RNA bind to it along with the Cas9 endonuclease. Binding of single guide RNA to the target sequence activates the Cas9 system, which then creates double-stranded NICs in the target sequence with the help of restriction enzymes. There are two methods for repairing the NICs. First one is non-homologous end repair. And second one is homology-based repair. Non-homologous end joining is used for indel mutations, loss of function screens, frame shift mutations, rearrangements of genome, homology-independent knock-in and by using two adjacent double-stranded breaks. Large deletions or inversions are done. Second method involves the accurate point mutation. Precise gene knockout, accurate gene insertion, replacement or correction, conditional alleles and functional mutations.